So I love Melt Cosmetics, or I'm a fan anyway. I have the Beetlejuice collection and um, they have some Day of the Dead eyeshadow palettes that I also have. And I wasn't as interested in this one, but they had it like half off and then uh, like additional savings off of that. So the butterfly, I think it's like called a PR box. And I got, I don't know, a little book thing and some butterfly stickers. And I've never opened this. So, ooh, that's pretty luxurious. All the gold. Oh, and there's a little thing to keep it. This is cool because my Beetlejuice one, which like sells for quite a bit if I wanted to sell it, the like box came all janked up. So, oh, it's kind of neat too. The little, uh, I don't know what this is called all of a sudden, but it just outlines the butterflies. It's kind of neat. I like that heart uh, art, heart art. I don't like how I said that, but the design's cool. Oh, and it continues with the butterflies hanging out under this. Wow, the gold looks really good in this. And it's like a red velvety thing. So it looks pretty badass, really. And I would have never gotten this over in the original price. Nope. Nice mirror. I don't really use the hand mirrors, but lip pencils. I don't know if I want to take all of these out. They're kind of wedged in there pretty good. These I had the most interest in. Uh, I really like their gel eyeliners. I'm not sure if all of these technically are like okay for your eyes, but they kind of hinted that's what they're for. But, you know, they don't want to get sued if your eyeballs fall off. That's a really cool turquoise. Sea green. I don't know. And I guess this one is just in a box rather than just wedged. But presentation-wise, it looks pretty good that way instead of all of them being so. The box is pretty tight, though. So I don't know if I can actually open all these in the video without it being extremely annoying or if I, if I mess it up this one maybe this one's supposed to be for eyes and the other two aren't which kind of makes sense because this looks a little less metallic than the other two I had no idea all the little boxes came in gold so one perk to not being uh, following it like crazy I kind of had no idea what it would look like when I opened it. So I can show you the lips. They're kind of like short. And there's a cute little butterfly, but like normal circumstances, I don't think I would ever wear this pink. It's kind of like glittery. I don't know if you can see the little imprints. I like this kind of glittery. I'll probably, ooh, it has like a magnet when you close it. I'm not a huge lipstick fan, so maybe that's totally normal, but I don't have any lipsticks like that. And for a while I got into more lipsticks, because why not? This one seems broken. Yeah. It won't come up. Melt. Hmm. So there's my broken lipstick. It's a bummer. Nothing. Luckily, I don't know. I don't know if I would wear it anyway, but still, it's the principle of the matter. But I'm also not overly worried. Damn, these boxes are, like my nails feel like they're gonna pop off. And I am not wearing fake nails or anything. My legit nails. I don't know if I showed the purple. I would have worn that in high school. Because I liked wearing funkier colors. 
No, I don't really wear any. I like red if I do wear it or something pretty close to it. I can see dealing with pinks, but man, these are really hard to open. That one was a little easier. Maybe I'm learning the trick. Pink, it's kind of like bent. But I might try and wear that. I don't know if I'll pull it off. That's a whole other matter. But man, that does look really cool. <laughs> it's fucking impossible. Ah! Release! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, I mean, at least it's not floating around and shipping. I guess. See, all the loaf sticks are nothing I would ever wear. But I will toy with it since I bought it. Since it was a really good deal. So that's fun. There, I don't need any more makeup. <laughs> I like was avoiding buying makeup for months because I'm like, I think I have a lifetime supply. But then this showed up half off and then extra sale on top of that. And that was too, too good to pass up. Oh good, my dogs are doing something bad. Lip pencils. This looks, this says lip pencil. It's like way darker than, oh, probably for the purple, the, I fail. So lip pencils. That's pretty cool. And maybe I'll put this back if I can figure out where it goes. <gasps> no more seeing these brushes. Feel nice. I tend to hate gold, but I it's growing on me more now. And just all of it, the gold and red looks luxurious there's that hopefully i can open these and then i think that'll be the end of it i feel like most of this video is me struggling to open the boxes and my hair being weird huzzah butterfly cute little butterfly on the melt logo so i guess Blushes and bronzers, maybe. I don't use those too much. Sometimes I play with it. But it's definitely not like a go-to. I'm all about eyeshadow, but I haven't been into it as much lately. Because it's winter. Well, it's technically spring. But where I live now, it's winter because there's snow on the ground. And it's bullshit. So, to speed up... Well, so I can sleep longer. I've just been doing mascara, but with mascara primer first, which is like, I've just discovered this and it's amazing. Ooh, even the inside of the box is like the red velvety. That's rad. Oh, I like that art. Cause it's butterflies, which are fine, but it's spooky with the freaking heart. And that's what matters. Oh. Out of the whole collection, like I was kind of looking at that to just buy it by itself. I like the colors, but it was pretty expensive by itself. And like I said, I have no need for more eyeshadow, but you know how addictions are, so. And bargains, ah. So after seeing this, like, I like, when things look cool. So presentation wise, I don't regret this at all. Lipsticks, not overly fond of, but I don't really wear the lipsticks anyway, so whatever. As far as that one being broken, if anything were to be broken, I'm glad it was that. And I just freaking, oh, okay. So I guess this can come off, but I'm pretty sure I just broke it because I saw these little gold things on the end and thought maybe it was hiding something, but it just was like melt underneath. So I guess you can take it and hang it up, but I totally just broke the little flap, 
Or maybe not. I don't know. I kind of did. I might have fixed it. So, it looks a lot shorter than the Beetlejuice one I have, which is kind of nice because that thing takes up space. And like, I don't want to toss it because people sell just the empty box for like $50 online, but there's no way I could sell it like that because mine came broken, so. But yeah, no regrets. I love it. Maybe I'll play with the lipstick right now. Not on camera, because that's weird. <laughs>